Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, I posted letting you know that the new Windows 11 Copilot app is becoming more widely available over on Windows 11. And I'll leave that uh, video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like more information, because the new app replaces the original desktop Copilot that used to fly out from the right hand side of the desktop. Now, just to let you know that if you are still running Windows 10 and um, would like to use Copilot and are using Copilot, that I noticed today in my region that the Copilot app is now available as well on Windows 10. So I'm just bringing this to your attention in case you were unaware. Um, you may have received this already in your region on Windows 10, you may have not, but just putting it out there. So the Copilot app has now become available, and basically um, it's a glorified uh, progressive web app, PWA. So it's not really a um, so-called um, native app. I mean, it acts like a native app, but at the end of the day, it's really a progressive web app, which actually is installed through Microsoft Edge, and exactly the same app as what we spoke about uh, in the previous video. So here we go, here's the Copilot app. So it acts and behaves like a native app on your system. You can pin it to your taskbar. You can obviously rearrange it on your taskbar. You can pin it to your start. Here's the app uh, in the actual, uh, the all apps list uh, in the start menu. And just to go through this quickly, but go check that other video out because um, I did dive a little bit more deeper. And the only problem with this app compared to the so-called normal Copilot or the desktop Copilot is that it's actually a downgrade. You can't adjust system settings with this. You can only kind of do normal um, online um, queries and um, questions when it comes to asking the chatbot questions. You can't ask it to change from dark mode to light mode, etc. And you know, um, adjust system settings, which the desktop copilot could do. So yeah, on the left hand side, just to go through a quick walkthrough, yeah, you've got your um, your recent activity, your history, if you have any chats available. Yeah, you've got your plugins, which are all your plugins available. You've got your notebook as well for more longer form content. And if you head up to the three uh, dotted menu, you will see uh, you've got You've got options to pin to taskbar, pin to start, because as mentioned, it is a progressive web app. And if we click on app settings, this takes us directly over into Microsoft Edge, where as mentioned, it's actually installed as a web app through Microsoft Edge. So a little bit of a downgrade when it comes to Copilot, although the nice side of this is it does make it a lot more lightweight. So the app is a lot more lightweight being a progressive web app, although it is a bit of a downgrade when it comes to the features. And if we head to our profile, yeah, you've got some settings for the actual app. So you've got language, your region, location, voice, chat, and more if you want to check that out. And if we head back to that, something else to take note of is that um, you can change the appearance. So you can change that to light, dark. I'll just keep it at system default, which is uh, dark mode on my, on my device anyway. So you've got a couple of options available there. And the good news with this is you can actually uninstall this app. So if we head into our all apps list, you can uninstall the app. So if you don't want Copilot um, on your system, you can uninstall it where previously on Windows 11, as an example, you couldn't uninstall Copilot unless you went and did a whole lot of registry hacks and, and scripts and so on. So this you can actually uninstall, which I think is good news. And something else to take note of is if you want the app on your system, um, like I do for the purposes of this channel, but you don't want the app to be using a whole lot of system resources in the background, all you do is you right click on the app in your start and you hit to more, you hit to app settings and yeah, you just make sure on Windows 10 that background apps is turned off so it won't be running in the background using system resources all the time unless you actually go to the app and use it then obviously it'll kick all those functions into gear so just a bit of a side note there if you want to keep the app but obviously don't want it using up system resources when you're not using the new copilot app so there you have it putting it out there the copilot app now seems to be rolling out across the board and that's both on windows 10 and also windows 11 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one